Um, so it says I'm now live. So I imagine that that, I think that's probably the truth. Um, if anybody is watching this, thank you so much. Um, I'm actually on the set of a music video right now. So I'm in this like trailer and, um, and the meowing is Benjamin. And um, first things first, like I just wanted to say thank, oh Benjamin just tried to jump on the table and then fell off, sorry. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much. We, like I woke up to the most amazing news today um, and it was actually um, Todrick going, is this real? And it was like a screenshot of like someone had said, hey, there's like all these nominations for you need to calm down. And I was like, I don't know. And so I went online and I went on MTV's website and saw that there actually are like seven nominations for the Need to Calm Down video and three for the Me video. So thank you to anyone who watched those videos. Um, so excited, especially just the fact that I got to work with such amazing people, the collaborators and co-stars on these videos. Like I've never had that much fun in my life. So to get to share that with them is the nicest thing ever. Um, and so it's apparent it's a fan voted thing um so if you wanted to vote for it i wouldn't object to it i wouldn't be like oh don't vote for us um and uh in other news that's really exciting in reference and kind of in relation to you need to calm down the equality act petition is almost at half a million signatures which is amazing and I appreciate it so much to anyone who signed. Um, keep telling your friends about it, keep writing your senators, and um, hopefully soon we could be at half a million signatures. Yes. Um, so I wanted to talk to you today about a few things actually. Um, as you may or may not know, I have an album called Lover that comes out in a month. <sighs> so that's crazy. Um, and so, so it's a month away and I really wanted to kind of pick up where I left off when I was talking to you on a live stream that I did a, a little while ago. And I was telling you on that live stream that there are four deluxe editions of this album that are each filled with completely unique content. Um, and I didn't really elaborate on what that was. I didn't really tell you what that was. Um, and now I want to show you what that is because I'm so excited about it. It has to do with, um, I really started brainstorming about something really special to do. Um, when you guys pointed out to me that this is the 13th year of me putting out albums, which is my lucky number. And so I figured like, we've got to do something. And I, I was thinking about the concept of it having been 13 years since my first album came out. And so I thought maybe something, it would be cool to do something sort of retrospective, sort of looking back at the times that we've had together. And I do a lot of thinking about time, the passage of time, lessons learned, memories. And I think that, you know, oftentimes when, uh, you live your life and you go through ups and downs and you learn things. When you look back at your past experiences, you look back at them with that insight of like, oh, this happened and I learned this because of it. And we sort of add value um, or kind of sort of insight to our memories. So when we look back on our memories, it's not as, it's not the same as when we actually were going through them. The only way you can actually have an accurate representation of what it was like when you were going through something is if you were to have written about it at the exact time you were going through it. And I don't know if, uh, if I've really talked to you guys about this or anything, but I've been writing in diaries since I was 13 years old. And I've written about pretty much everything that's happened to me. Um, and, you know, I've written my original lyrics in those diaries, um, just feelings, you know, uh, lessons, things you go through. And that's been one of my ways of coping with things. I need to either write songs or write something in order to like process life. 
good times and bad. And so um, I want to show you something real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to be really honest with you. I've never done the thing where you turn around the, um, where you turn around things. And so the first time I'm going to do it. It's a big moment. So these are my diaries and I, I got them out of, <laughs> out of the very secret place where I keep them all. And I went through them all and read them. And you'll see they have these little like post-it notes everywhere. Um, that's because when I went through them, I marked pages that I thought that you may be interested in seeing. And so um, these are the deluxe editions of the album and there are four of them. And in them are 120 pages of my diaries. And to give you a, an example of that, like here's my actual diary here's what's in the um, deluxe edition. So they're just, they're just scanned. And so it's, you know, it's everything from, um, one second, just gonna turn this around again. It's everything from um, pictures drawn, photos of that time in my life. Um, you know, I used to like tape stuff in my diaries, that stuff's all in there. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you a bit. Um, so basically there's like, it's, it starts like this. There's a, there's a full word that I've written. Um, it starts with this journal belongs to, and that's from one of my journals. And it, it kind of goes through these, like um, each, each one of these has 40, um, or each one of these has 30 pages, cause there's four. So there's 30 pages of journals, entries from me in each, one of these and and then it goes to well, there's lots of pictures and then it's to opportunity to turn this into your journal and um like process things in your life by writing about them and then at the back of it is the is the cd and the art and the booklet and um yeah so that is what I, I kind of had to like show it to you in order to, I, it would be harder to explain it without being able to show it to you, but now it's done and you can go on Target, um, Target's website and you can pre-order them now. If you're in the U.S., if you're outside of the U.S., you can go on my website and you can figure out how to get them. Um, I mean, I found some crazy stuff in there. I found like um, the original lyrics of All Too Well, which I didn't even know that I had in my diaries. So I was like, it's everything from being 13 and coming home from a bad day at school to, you know, Grammy night to, you know, processing my life changing as a teenager, all that good stuff. Um, and you know, I felt like I've really been sharing my life with you in almost, I've always used kind of the metaphor of like, I open up my diary and share it with them. And the fact that they accept me for that makes is why we have such a strong bond but this this is <laughs> taking it a step further this is like actually doing it um but i'm really excited about sharing this with you because you've really been there for me and you've made my life what it is and so i just wanted to take this opportunity to like kind of celebrate the 13th year of our of this thing we've got going on so that's not the only thing i wanted to talk to you about today um so with this album before, it is, it's, it's the most songs I've put on an album before. There are 18 songs on the album. And so there's a lot that's covered um, emotionally. And I really wanted to give you um, track five before the album came out. So track five is kind of a tradition that has, that really started with you guys because I didn't realize I was doing this, but as I was making albums, I guess I don't, I don't know why, but instinctively I was just kind of putting a very vulnerable, personal, honest, emotional song as track five. Like my first album track five was called Cold As You 
My second album, Fearless, track five was White Horse. My third album, Speak Now, was a song called Dear John. My fourth album, Red, was um, a song called All Too Well. Um, track five on 1989 was All You Had to Do Was Stay. And Reputations, track five was Delicate. So because you noticed this, I kind of started to like put the songs that were really honest, emotional, and vulnerable, and personal as track five. So that, that has definitely happened in the case of track five on this album, Lover. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Um, there are, there's like a, there's like a vast part of this album that I worked with Jack Antonoff on, and he is phenomenal. We've worked together for a while, and I am so proud of the work that we've done on this album. And so I wanted to show you a song that we had done together. Um, the song is called The Archer, and I really hope you like it. It will be out imminently. Like, I, I think it might even be out right now, if not in like the next three minutes or something. So it's you don't have to wait till midnight or anything. It's just gonna come out soon, like real soon. And um, I really can't wait to hear what you think of it. There have been a lot of Easter eggs that have been pointing to this song because I love this song so much. Um, there were Cupids playing in the band during the Me music video. There were um, there there have been arrows pretty much everywhere. I've I've been drawing arrows through hearts and stuff. Um, and then the most obvious Easter egg, my friend Haley was kind enough to unveil that Easter egg. Um, in the You Need to Calm Down video, Haley was doing archery and the arrow hits a bullseye that says five. So I told her about the whole thing and I was like, will you help me with this one? And she was really like cool enough to do it. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's. That was all I had on the list of things to talk to you about today in my brain. And I didn't know that the um, VMA nominations were coming out today. And I just am so happy and so grateful and so happy that this is happening with, you know, this music. And You Need to Calm Down was the most unbelievable experience to get to make something with people you love so much and to make something that... Um, it just was such a blast and I'm so proud of it and I love you guys so much um, the album's out in a month it's crazy August 23rd so there's going to be some stuff you know oh I forgot to tell you The Archer is not the next single it's just a song that I love on the album and I, and I, I don't like I know that can get really confusing about like songs that come out before albums but I haven't made a video for it or anything this is just kind of like sort of a a glimpse into another side of the album that I wanted to show you. What else did I want to tell you? I had, did I have anything else? Oh, you can pre-order the album if you feel like it. Not mandatory, but if you want to, you can pre-order it, you can pre-add it, pre-save it. There's so many, so many ways you can prepare for this album to come out if you wanted to. I am gonna go back and finish shooting this music video, which you'll see soon enough, which I really hope you like when you see. Um, and ah, it's just all really exciting. I love you guys and you're amazing and I will undoubtedly see you very soon.